It's time to find out what's the best towing mid-sized truck and we have two big ones. I want to know! I want to know which one's the best! Well actually we already know. We already drove the new 2019 Ranger FX4 and the TRD Off-Road Tacoma up and down I gauntlet world's toughest towing test and we were surprised. I'm surprised. Yes, it was a big surprise. That was quite a good test and we're pulling 5,000 pound trailer. And now you will be surprised. Let me show you. The Icon is the world's toughest towing test because this is an eight mile stretch of interstate highway. Steepest grade on the interstate, 7% grade going to over 11,158 feet above sea level, which means we're losing air density, we're losing power, we're towing heavy, and uh, we're just stressing this truck out. You have ECT power button enabled? Yes, and that does give a little power going uphill. It doesn't really help us going downhill. Well, Toyota uh, recommends it for going in the mountains and towing. Yes. So we're using every tool available to us. We're gonna count brake applications, as okay. always. You're popping out at 50 miles 50 an hour. 50 miles an hour. And then if the truck accelerates past 60, we have to bring it back down to 50. That's right. We're going to count those applications and just see how well it controls that trailer. All right. And we're towing 5,000 pounds. You and I worked hard to get the trailer set up. We've used this trailer on previous mid-sized truck runs. <laughs> but last night, I was filling this water tote all the way up because we needed exactly 5,000 pounds and we have it. I positioned it correctly, I think, because we weighed the truck and trailer and we have just about 500 pounds of tongue weight, which is perfect, 10% tongue weight. And I've got a couple center blocks and we're really set up well. I'm using this tarp because it's about 10 degrees and the water will freeze really quickly, but the tarp is actually protecting it a little bit. So we have to complete this test quickly, otherwise we'll have a giant ice cube. Okay, I'm almost to 60 now. I'm at 60, okay. So that's first brake application. First brake application down to 50. So the Tacoma is the market leader, the sales leader in the midsize segment. Right. Ford used to own that market when the Ranger was here eight, nine years ago. Yep. And then Toyota took over. So we'll see how that battle is. If the big battle is between all those brands or if it's just between Ford and Toyota. It'll be an interesting matchup to see how sales go. So the RPM came up a little bit, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and we're almost to 60. We're one mile an hour off. Oh, actually, okay, we're at 60. Okay, second brake application. Yeah, get it down to 50. And so what Toyota did in 2016, they brought the whole new generation of Tacoma, right? Uh -huh. This is basically a third generation. But once again, it does not have a brake controller. This is IntelliHitch and it is an electronic surge brake. So the hitch actually moves in and out with the movement of the truck and that pushes the brakes, which still goes through the wires, to your brakes, the electric brakes on the trailer. You just have to plug it in twice and you're good to go. And then we stopped and got some grease for it. We couldn't find grease so we used, uh, what was that? Was, I bought vapor rub. We tried to find Vaseline or anything, but they had nothing in there. So. This is a grease type. We're Are you telling me our hitch is sick? We're, yes. Is it sick? It'll, it'll stop coughing once I put this on. <laughs> Two fingers. Okay. And see, is that a... is grease. So that's what you do. You grease it. And there you go. <laughs> then I'm going to turn it over and grease the top just a little. I'm going to insert this. Okay, insert that in. Don't get All right, it so. so. Okay. So that has to have a certain amount of movement. So we, we're doing everything to make everything work right. Now that we're holding our PMs about 3,600. Really? Which acts like tow haul mode does. So I'm surprised. So maybe ECT tow. is helping us. Yeah, it could be. I mean, that's something's going on here. The Tacoma just completed its run on the downhill. Can't hit the ECT power button, which is supposed to help us in the mountains and towing. And it did. 
more brake pain, but actually I'm pretty impressed with how this is working without a tow haul mode. That's the third brake application. You sure? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm holding my fingers. <laughs> I'm pretty soon I'm gonna have all my fingers taken. That must be that Moscow calculator you're using. Yeah, it's the Abacus. Okay. They introduced a new engine, right? The 3.5 liter. Right. Um, so they went away from the old 4 liter and went to the dual injection system. Uh, but the 3.5 liter is kind of a peaky engine, so you gotta rev it all the way up to kind of get the most power out of it. Right. And right. we'll find out how it works on the way up the mountain. Okay. But uh, the rating on this engine is 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. Of course, this is a six-speed automatic, yes. which means we have a 391 rear end. Yes, that's pretty and, low. And this engine has a little bit more power than the old 4-liter, uh, but a little bit, almost like one pound-foot less of torque. And the brake. Five. Yeah, but we're not doing too bad. We're already uh, yeah, halfway you, down. Imagine this had a turbo, what it'd be like. So this but truck has a track width with TRD off-road of about 63 inches. And actually these mirrors, I like these mirrors. They're not towing mirrors, but the trailer's six feet wide and I can see around it. And that's the size of trailer you want with this kind of a truck, so you can't see around things. If we were towing our full eight-footer, we would have to have extensions. Right, right? exactly. I always like to measure mirrors because mirrors are important to me pulling trailers. And this one, about nine and a half across the side. Now let's see what the Ranger is. Measure across, this might be closer to 10. They're all, they're all triangularly made, so it's hard to get really accurate. I can go up here and get more, I can go down and get less. So it's very close to the Toyota. Might call this a 10, call that a nine and a half. So they're, they're okay for midsize. You don't get Trader Toy Mirrors in a midsize. I wish they did, but they don't. So a six foot trailer like we're towing is the right way to go. When wider, you'd have to add some kind of an extension mirror to it, both of them. Actually, all midsize, you'd need an extension mirror for a wide trailer. And this is six feet wide. If you measure out to the fenders, you're almost eight feet wide. Here we go, 60 again. Okay, that's number six. Okay. This is not doing bad. Well, sometimes it's nice to be surprised, right? Yes, this is uh, much better than I, I expected it to be. I'm also surprised. I expected to have 10 brake applications yeah, all yeah. the way down and, you know, white knuckling it and just kind of, you know, we're towing 5,000 pounds, which is a standard weight for a mid-sized truck. Right, right. Um, the Tacoma is rated to tow 6,400 pounds. Okay. Ooh, we're leveling out. Hold on, uh, don't touch anything. <laughs> don't touch anything. Right when I went down the hill, we got up to six events, braking events, and I almost had seven. That rat bastard Russian, anyway, that Russian, yeehaw! Anyway, they, he was telling me when I was about to hit the seventh time, not to do it, because we right at six for just like a second. And he knew we were leveling out, so I didn't. I didn't hit it again, so that's why I ended up with six applications. So guys, six brake applications in the Tacoma on the way down. I'm surprised. I thought we might yes, hit 10. I'm impressed. Okay, well, let's see how it does on the way up. There you go. The ride is actually pretty hard. It seems like we squashed the suspension all the way. Yeah, usually with the trailer, it rides a little softer because you're preloaded the, the, the springs. Here, it rode worse when it was loaded, which surprised me, but that's not much squat. That's good for stability. I'm going to climb underneath. I'm going to check the springs. Okay. Do you want me to do it or do you want no, to do I, it? No, I think you should do it. You, you, got the, you got the soft hat on. I got the wrong hat. For... Okay, let me try it. Let me uh, count the springs, leaf springs, and also show you the, uh, the bump stop on the Tacoma. Right, these are Bilstein shocks, aren't they? Uh, they look like Bilsteins. These are Bilsteins. These are Bilsteins. Okay. So first of all, three springs. One, two, three with the overload. And you see up here, it's about an inch, maybe two fingers of space. So we're squished the suspension, but not all the way, but close. I'm begging you, please. Can you help me out? Snowy butt. But you know what that means? That jump stop, you think it's an inch? It's about an inch, like this. That means that we can bottom out fairly easy. And I mean, because you hit and some expansion joints pretty hard. We felt that. Yeah. We felt bottoming out. Yeah. We're going up! 
the Tacoma, dude. You gotta reset your uh, fuel economy, know. which is not easy. Right now, or when we get up there? When we get up there. So we start okay. at 35, right? And then you nail the throttle and reset your MPGs. Yes. Ready? 35. And now. Okay, go down. Reset. Yes. Okay, you, your foot is all the way down? Yep. You know, I hear the monster run. It's running. Hear that speed? <laughs> Power? Uh, 5,000 RPM. No. So here's the way this engine works, right? The maximum horsepower is at 6,000 RPM. Did you hit six? I hit 60 miles an hour. Oh, so, so you, had to, you almost have to back off? Yeah, I had to back off. That okay. Thing got up and went. This day is full of surprises. On the way up in the Tacoma, can't hit the accelerator. And we're at 60 within, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. I was pretty impressed. Maximum torque 265 is at about 4,500 RPM. Yeah. So I think you're near 4,000 now. So you're kind of yeah. max torque. You're near your maximum power. Here's the thing, guess how much payload we have? We have a thousand pounds. Payload. Well, you and I are lightweights, <laughs> right? Yeah. We're real close to maxing out, by golly. Yeah, so we're maxing out payload. We're maxing out gross combined weight. This Tacoma 4x4 V6 is rated to tow 6,400 pounds. Right. So if that's the case, if you had a maximum trailer behind us, then you would have to have like one person in here. Yeah, that's how all these, these smaller trucks are, even half tons. But this doesn't have like a bliss or a trailer measuring thing, does it? No, it does not have a blind spot monitor with trailer coverage. Yeah, we're actually hanging at 60 here quite a bit. There's only one or two times where I dropped back just a little. There, let's listen. That's 69.9 decibels. And that was about 5,500 RPMs. Well, in, in my experience, and we, we, we told with many trucks, Yeah. 70 decibels is not loud. Like if you're going over 70, it becomes to get a little tiresome. Oh, contraire, Andre. I have a different opinion about what I saw going up the hill. I mean, coming to the tunnels, it did hunt for gears. When we did our launch up, it didn't hunt that much. But coming right off the line on the on-ramp, I punched it and I thought it went to 60 very fast. I was impressed and all the way up the hill I barely got below 60. It was doing so well. One time I had some traffic problems with trucks I let off a little bit, lost a second or two there, but most of the time it just it went at the maximum speed. What else can you ask of a truck? I thought that Tacoma would struggle a little bit. I did too. I didn't think it would take off this fast and hold this speed. I really didn't. The only problem I'm having is hitting my head on the ceiling. What? It's got a low ceiling my poor hat. Been bouncing all over this thing. So you know when I sit in this truck, I mean people love their Tacomas, but it's like sitting on the floor. I have no thigh support, my feet are like forward like in a car, and my hat's hitting the roof. So I'm thinking this cab has to be a lot shorter, and I know the seat is lower to the ground, so I just want to see what this is compared to the Ranger. Now look, can you see it, Andre? Is it 49 and a half or well to here to the door jam it's about four foot. Oh to the door jam? Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, keep it, keep on it. We're getting close, guys. Seven and a half minutes, eight minutes is a benchmark run because that means eight miles within 60 miles an hour, which is the speed limit of this highway. Okay, we're getting so close, guys. Oh, I cannot believe this. Oh, watch the MPGs, too. And end of the hill, now. We got five miles per gallon. Five, eight. five miles. Five. MPG. Well, yeah, five miles per gallon. Yeah, and uh, eight minutes, eight seconds, which is actually that's very good, really good. I was expecting like something a little bit slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the Ranger now. Uh, okay. <laughs> The resolution on this backup camera is not great. The Ranger does not have a 360 degree camera system, uh, but still useful. I wish though you could access the rear camera while moving, Ford doesn't let you do that.
this is the rear backup camera, which I like. When I mean, it tells you the red is when you get too close and it's kind of lines up. But it has a, a center piece. I like the trailing one that goes to the middle, an extra line that Ford has, and I think Chevy went to. But if I had a line, I could really line up the trailer and a coupler. I guess they think you're going to get that line on the trailer coupler and then <laughs> kind of guess where else you at. I mean, it's good to have a backup camera. I like to actually, it's the law now. But I would rather have that middle line. Okay, let's go. No, no. You know, our next thing is check the lights and brakes. Well, kind of, but you gotta put in how long the trailer is into the dash computer. Oh, God. I wanna know if that blind spot works. Let's go. The Ranger actually has a lot of driver assistance features. Ford calls it Copilot 360. It has trailer sway, cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise, driver alert system, lane keep but we don't care about that. Well, we care about sway control, which is on, but blind spot, I wanna tell it what trailer I have. Let's call it trailer A. Trailer length, we have 14 feet of trailer plus about four feet on the tongue, so about 18 feet. That's perfect. Cross traffic alert, deactivated trailer attached. So what we wanna make sure is we have told the truck that the we're towing this 18-foot trailer, which we are, and it will modify the blind spot monitoring system to look also next to the trailer, which is really useful. Look at these two trucks from the nose. The Tacoma looks like a bulldog. You know, the fitters even, they're all bulging, giant nose like a big truck. It just looks macho, it looks tough. Now the Ford looks more refined, like something you would have if you're going to a tea party or something. It looks, it looks, well, it's modular. It's, it doesn't look as macho as the Toyota. So whether you're refined, where you have your pinky in the air when you do your tea, or whether you want to go crash something like a rock or something, break it in half. That's the difference, they just look different. This looks refined, this looks macho. So, take your pick. All right, dude, we're going down in the Ranger. Yep, we're gonna hit 50 coming out this tunnel. Okay. Plunge to the depths below. Tow haul mode enabled. Yeah, we're in six gear. Isn't that nice to be able to know exactly what gear you're in always? Yep. You dropped Whoa, down to 45. Whoa, it downshifted for you to fifth? My goodness, yes. It's on this side. Where is the tack? Do we have a tack? There it is. So it actually uh, downshifted several times without you touching the brakes. Yeah, at least twice, and that was good. I just wish I had a tack so I knew a red line and how close we are, but I guess we're There's a little three. blue indicator on the, it's a the blue bar. bar. Oh, oh the it's, one you can't read. It's, you can, you can hardly read that. Yeah, I see it. So the 19 Ranger is coming back to the market. It's gonna be on sale in early 2019. Okay, any, any second brake application. Okay. Second brake application. Yeah. But, they have several different, uh, two different gauge layouts. If you get like an XL or an XLT, right. you got two, a big tachometer on the left and big speedometer on the right and a little okay. screen in the middle. It's but, a good combination. Yeah, I like that. This is a Lariat. So we have a big speedometer in the center. Uh -huh. And I asked Ford about this. They said they wanted two digital screens on both sides in order to make it more configurable. I was driving the Ranger with a trailer in town and I noticed in tow haul mode it's pretty aggressive, it downshifts well. So I thought to myself, on the eye gauntlet, the Ranger is gonna do beautifully. The gearing is gonna hold it. But yeah, this is the 10 speed, the 2.3 turbo. I mean, I've, I've yet to experience any turbo leg in this engine, so I'm pretty tickled with how it runs. Yeah, it's a 373 rear end and versus a 391 in the Tacoma. Completely different setups. Yeah, yeah, they are. Now this one, you know, I can wear my cowboy hat in, it works well. It's comfy, the seats are actually yeah, really comfortable. I, I, Why is there a person yeah, sitting in getting out of this show? Oh, who is that guy? It's one of those homeless guys. They keep following us around. <laughs> so what's that? That's only 50? 50. Oh, oh, you're going to click the top? Well, okay, yeah, 49 yeah. 51, so two inches. Four, two inches. Well, well that's that, considerable. Two inches is a lot, but I'm surprised it's not more, but yeah. That's what I was wondering about, because I just feel cramped when I'm inside the Toyota. I'm a big guy. I'm not really happy with the, uh, the armrest, but this is a Lariat. Yeah, we need to, uh, this is a fourth brake okay, application, so this right? Is a, yeah. 
this has a leather armrest which works better for me those other ones my elbow moves all around such a small armrest but small problems I mean other than the fact that the mirrors controls behind the steering wheel you can't see it and other than the fact that the window controls are way back here but other than that so you're saying there's a couple of ergonomics issues. A couple, just a couple. But you know, with the push button start, it comes with a lariat. I like that. I like it too because it's that hand. Right. It's immediately there. You can push it right away. The ride is much better than the Tacoma. Yes, because I'm sure we're, well, we, we got to climb underneath there and look at that spring. Okay. Oh! All right, let me show you the uh, leaf springs. This is very unique setup. I know Mr. Truck loves this new uh, that Ford is doing something. Oh, yeah, God. It's a parabolic spring. I really hit my head. Check it out. So, I don't know if it's easy to see, but this is one leaf. It's parabolic, which means it's tapered. It's got one overload. And I'm trying to feel where the bump, where the bump stops are. They're up there. See the yellow thing? That's the bump stop. But, the thing is, it's barely, it's almost touching. But, how come this had a better ride? I have a theory. I think that parabolic spring being one thicker spring, I think it allows it to flex more. You know, spring stack, you get all that resistance. They're all stacked on top of each other. They're not letting them move a whole lot. It does give it good resistance, but I think the parabolic will let it float below the jaft bump. I think that's part of why it rides a little bit better. That's my theory. Oh, that's number five. Okay. What time is it? We're at number five. Number five brake application. We're nearing the end. Okay. You know, I was hoping this um, tow haul mode and the 10 speed would hold us. And it's holding us, but not quite as good as I hoped. We're in fourth gear and it's not downshifting into third. That's number six. Yeah, I snuck that one in on you. Couldn't make me pause. <laughs> you snuck it in there? Because, you know, you, on, the, on the Tacoma, you I went, know, but we were seat. flat. Yeah, we're not flat yet. When I was driving this new 2019 Ranger Turbo with a 10-speed, going down the hill here at Igolent, it did well. It actually ended up doing seven applications. It would have been six. Andre was trying real hard to hold it, but it went to 61. I had to break it again, and I gave it a seven. So that's one more brake application with the Tacoma hat. But I thought it handled well. This is actually a little better ride coming down the hill. This may be a tight run. I was thinking that the 10 speed ride would do better than the 6 speed in the Tacoma. Yeah, they're there again. Once they're again, gone. I was wrong. Is this it's 61. 61. You have to brake. I can't believe this. <laughs> Seven brake applications. Yeah, yeah, and that's, and that's the Toho mode where the Tacoma has that ECT. ECT. Are. We're hitting the eye gauntlet in the Ranger. Yes, yes. Booyah! Turbo. Turbo! Turbo! Are turbo. you turbocharged? Turbo's made for mountain. You ready to reset? Yes. And now! You held that. Nice! We got the timer rolling and the turbo spooling. Right? Yep. yep, no turbo lag. I didn't feel a single hesitation there. No, that's the thing Very about... impressive. That's the thing about this engine. Oh, Do they have like 60, a... Right? Oh, 60. are you at 60 already? I'm at 60 already. Ah! I was hoping that the Ranger will maintain 60 easily, but it kept bouncing, in my opinion, between what, 6th and 4th gear. So let's look at the gears. I love that we didn't see the gears. Yes. You're in 4th now, accelerating. And we could see like we're at fifth, sixth. So it's maintaining between fifth and sixth, it seems. Yeah, it was hard to hold it exactly one spot. We need to try cruise control at some point. But I was you know going back and forth right at that 60 mile an hour range. So you really can't go up that that eight miles any faster than that. See the grooves in the road? Yeah, the That's one thing you'll notice with all these mid-sizes, because they're narrower, they don't ride in a groove. They you know? travel back and yes, forth. Yes, they do. They don't sit where the semis are, they don't sit where the cars are. You're just kind of in your own thing, and it makes you move sideways a lot. So let's just uh, briefly touch on the numbers, right? So <laughs> payload, the Ranger kind of wins this payload battle between yeah. Tacoma yeah. and the Ranger. Even in this fully loaded Lariat FX4, 
we have about 1,350 pounds of max payload. Right. Tacoma had 1,000 pounds of payload. Yeah, and that's interesting. The payload changes with your weight, your configuration, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, super cab, yes. super crew. But the trailer capacity is always 7,500. According On to Ford. Them. Yeah, always. It's pretty amazing. 75, 75, oh, yeah. 75. So you just got to watch your payload so that you don't go over that with your tongue weight. Right. Um, but in this case, you know, we have 500 pounds of tongue. You and I are about 500 pounds, yeah. give and take, uh, one lunch. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, so we still have about 350 pounds left over capacity, which is nice. Yeah, but this is the new kid on the block. They got a lot to prove. Tacoma's kicking ass and taking down names, and this yeah. has to jump in the middle of that and beat everybody. On the Ranger, it's like the only mid-sized one that they've tested it with and without weight distributing hitches, and they're saying you're not required on this Ranger at the maximum tongue weight to use weight distributing hitch. That's how it is on the big Chevys, how it is on the big Ford, you know, super duties and heavy duties. I don't know about the 150, but that's interesting. I'm more really curious, according to the trip meter, at the end of the mountain, which truck will be more efficient? That's true, right? yeah, the fuel mines can be really important on this, because right now it looks like it's going to be leading the class in fuel mileage. Well, the yes. EPA ratings are leading. Yeah, yeah. So the Ranger is rated at four-wheel drive Ranger, 24 highway. The Tacoma is rated at 22 highway. So yeah, yeah. this Ranger, at least on paper, has an advantage. So Ranger does have sound enhancement. They're pumping an enhanced sound through the speakers. So it's very similar to the F-150s. Yeah. They punch it. Sixty-seven decibels, which is a little bit better than the Tacoma. Yeah, and I think that was a four thousand RPM. If I can read this, Duke Attack. And uh, we're coming to the end, near the end. Uh, it's getting very, very close. Once again, eight minutes is our benchmark to maintaining speed limit and just having a perfect um, uphill drive. And stopping the clock now. similar yeah yeah five for the Tacoma 5.2 for the Ranger eight minutes and two seconds so you basically maintain perfect speed we have to pick a truck which truck out of these two after this test would you pick well I think that they were closer than I would ever imagine I was very surprised but I'd say it's it's very very close and I would still go with the new contender the Ranger okay Surprised how close it was. I completely agree with you hundred percent. It's like splitting hairs It was so close that Tacoma did really well. Yeah, really well, but the ride wasn't as good, right? It was a little bit louder. It was a little bit less efficient So Ranger little by little just edged it out. Yeah, the Ranger was a little faster a little bit better fuel mileage and You know it, it was comfortable. I had more room in it. That's the thing you look at too. I had a lot of room in the Ranger and I was hitting my head on top of the Tacoma. But well, it is, go, it's very close. Well, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world towing reviews and where else can they go? I like mrtruck.com! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, grasshopper! Wow! Is that good? Hey, uh, hey. <laughs>